Okay guys, so we got this 2009 Mercedes S550 instrument cluster right here and the customer said, I guess the screen stopped working or something. So I went to Mercedes dealership and I guess they wanted a lot of money for a new cluster to put in. Because he said he he ended up getting a used one, but the mileage doesn't show up. So we've got to read the EEPROM from this one and I'm going to have him drop the car off and we're going to write the EEPROM to the car because this is his old cluster. So we got to get this apart. So we got a bunch of screws to take out here in the back. And some clips all the way around and we'll get this apart. Okay, now we need to find the chip. I think it's going to be called a 24C32 or 24U17. So this ain't it. So it might be underneath this right here. So I'm going to undo these clips right here. Actually, we might be able to do this while we're recording. There we go. And that does not look like our chip either. No, so now chip might be on the other side of the board. So let's see if we can get this out. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna have to pop the needles off. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff here for us. Just set that right there. And go get some gloves so we don't dirty this all up. I'm gonna pop the needles off and then we'll we'll make sure these are all down. So there we go, that's what it looks like all the way down. Let's make sure this one's down. Okay. And we'll pop the needles off. Okay guys, I think I found our chip. I think it's this one. This one says 24C08. And uh, I think that's actually our chip. This is on the motor, like the needle side. And I also think, I don't know if I broke these or somebody else tried to take this apart because I didn't hear anything break, but I noticed that these, uh, looks like, uh, these tubes right here. I think somebody else had this apart, because there's no way that that would have came unclipped. You see that? There's no way. Because that would have had to come out of that clip there. Yeah, there's no way. Same with this side. Well, this one might have came out for me. But that clip's actually broke. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know if that was me. But, okay, good thing this is the old cluster. Uh, so, uh, we're going to desolder this chip right here. We're going to get some flux. We're going to put some flux on it and we'll desolder this chip. I know we're not going to have our super close up view this time, but. Should be pretty good view. There we go. Let's get our temperature up here a little bit more. We're at uh, just hitting 600 degrees. 700 is what we want to go for. So we'll slow this down a little bit. There we go, should get us close to like 700. I hope this is our chip because it says it's 24C30 or something like that, or 32, 24C32. And this is the only 24C chip that I found. Set this to cool down. Set this around behind you guys. And now we'll get our chip holder set up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to go to Programmer. Go to Accept. And um, while that's loading, we'll put the chip in there. So we'll take our chip. We'll stick it in here. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. 
Yeah, let me set the phone down real quick. Okay, there we go. Our lovely chip's in there. Let's go to chip. Read and write. I think this is an S ST chip, actually. So we're going to go to EEPROM because I, I saw, like, SST. I, don't, I think Atmel and SST are, like, the same brand. Something. Or not SST. I think ST. There we go. So we'll see ST24. And we'll try this. Uh... We'll try this, uh... Uh, read right here. So we'll go to read. And here's another reason why I think this is the chip. Even though TacoSoft, or I mean TacoSoft online says it's a 24C32. When I use the old mileage calculator, we go to Mercedes. Go to S-Class. And 2007 on up is like the same cluster. 2007 through 13. It says that it's a... Uh, that doesn't say it there. So if we go to Mercedes again. S-Class. You'll see right here it says 24C08. So. All right, there is 24C08. So there we go. So if we type in... Actually, we'll just wait. Let's see what... It, Oh, right there's our mileage. Let's just go back. See, so if we press read, our mileage is the first one, it looks like. So this line 0 and line 10 is our mileage according to this. So let's get some guesses. So let's try like 120,000 miles. Let's see what this comes up to. Okay, let's try like 150. So we want to get to D11 as that as our goal. So we'll try 140. Let's try 180. Remember guys, these are in kilometers, so that's F. Let's try like 200. Oops. 200. It's still higher. Let's try like 220. DA1A. It's getting closer. 220 kilometers. Okay, so let's just save this. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this 2009. Mercedes S550 cluster. This is a W211 chassis. Here we go. So I'm going to copy that over the computer. We'll see if we can load up the mileage and see what's actually on this thing. Okay, guys. So, uh, Here's our mileage, the D112 and the D012. I'm trying to find out a way to figure out what the mileage is. Um, none of my other software can calculate this other than that one TacoSoft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this chip back on the board because we shouldn't need any more stuff on this board. I think that's all we gotta do is edit the mileage. Could be wrong. Like I'm just gonna clone this whole EEPROM to the other board if we can. So, I'm going to uh, try to put this back together and we'll see if we can power it up. Okay guys, so I got the cluster apart. I'm going to try to do this. I'm trying to hold you guys in my hand and do this at the same time. Give you guys an interesting perspective on this. Let's see. Let me get the temp set right. Let's see if you guys will be able to see this. Uh, where are we at? There we are, sorry about that.
What do you guys think of that? Is that pretty cool or what? Okay guys, so we're going to try to power up the cluster. So if you look in here, you can see on the bottom right there, there's a 9. Right there in the middle of the screen and at the top, there's an 18. And there's 18 pins. So I came on Mitchell. And you guys might not be able to see this. Uh, you guys can kind of see. So we got 1 through 18 right here. So we need to power up pin 4, 5, 6, 7, Actually, four or five and six are what we know we have the power. And we'll see if that works. And our ground is going to be one, two, and three. So it's going to take a lot of pins. So we'll see if we can do that. Okay, guys, I think this is what the customer meant when he said the center didn't work. So we get nothing in the center. Although the needle does something weird. Yeah, that's what we get from this one. Okay guys, so there was a center. There was another pin that I missed. Uh, let's see if this works. So I don't think it changed anything. Everything else still looks lit up the same. Sorry about that. It's hard to hold this. Needles are lit up. So we don't see anything else. There was a pin 9 I missed. Uh, pin 9 right here. It went to the footwell. But that's all that I saw. I just wonder if that center screen went out and that was his whole issue too. So I'll see what he says and then I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, so we got the Mercedes in here. So this is the one with the cluster issue. So if you look, our odometer just flashes. So we're going to uh, scan this for codes and I want to see uh, how many miles are on it. Okay guys, I just did a full system scan. We got a lot of codes in here, uh, right here. There's a whole bunch for seat module stuff. I don't know if they, any of this happens when you, uh, when you remove the cluster and stuff, but yeah, no. So I guess the Mercedes didn't even clear the codes when they swapped the cluster because we got no cam message stored from the cluster. Look at all these. So let's go back. Let's go into the engine computer. I'm hoping that we can bring up mileage somehow. I know it's stored in multiple modules on a Mercedes because we just need to get the mileage of the car from somewhere. It didn't automatically pull the mo mileage in this. Cool. I may just have to sit here and just mess around and see if we can find. Oh, where it's stored. I might call a friend real quick, see. Okay guys, I found the mileage for the uh, cluster and that's right here. So this one that he put in has 39,000. The sticker on the dash says 101, but he said they guessed when they did that last year I guess they did it at the dealership or something like that so we can't even trust the sticker and plus the sticker is almost a year old actually it's over a year old yeah it expired last month so we need to find somewhere where this is stored uh, I think the EWS stores it let's see live data current kilometer reading uh, there you go 95,000 that's what he thought was on here I don't know if that's valid because uh, that's close enough uh, does something else store this You try going back into the engine computer. Maybe I'll just select a bunch of stuff in the engine computer, just go through them one by one, see if it'll tell me.
I'm just gonna go through these one by one and see if I can find it in here. Okay, guys, I went through like almost all the modules. Well, not all the modules. I went through all the main modules here, and I didn't, I didn't see it. So I don't know if it's hidden somewhere on here. So I'm gonna pull the instrument cluster out. I'm gonna wait for a friend to get back to me too, see if I can find out if it's stored anywhere else in this car. But like, I went into a bunch of these. So we're just gonna get the cluster out, and then we'll go from there. But at least we got something to go off of. Okay guys, so I got the whole uh, cluster out right here. And uh, yeah, I don't think some of this stuff was put in all the way. Like they, like some of this stuff's like broke right here. Like for the plastic and like the same thing was here. Like uh, it's like on here, like the screws were tightened way too much. But uh, yeah, we got it out. Is what it is. I don't know if they normally break from like heat or anything, but we're gonna go get this cluster apart and we'll see if we can get this thing to work. Okay guys, so I desoldered all these spots for the for the bulbs inside so it's all free. I made sure they were all free, so hopefully we can uh, lift the whole board up then. I took all the screws out, so I'm gonna try to lift this up. I'm gonna sit down the phone and do this. Okay guys, so I got the cluster torn down. Imagine not to break any bulbs on this one. Um, here's our chip that we're going to remove. So I'm going to get that removed and we'll get it in our programmer. And we'll see if we can edit this. Okay, so we got the chip on the adapter. Let's go back through here. Let's read this just to make sure. Um, this is our n new cluster, our donor cluster. So we're, we're going to read the chip and we're going to save it. Let's save it in here. Let's save this as we'll save this as donor. Then that way we can always go back in case we get a corrupt flash or something. There we go. So there we go. There's that one. Um, let's try. Let's just try writing the one from our other one. And what I'll do is I'll put this back on the board and then we'll see if we can just set everything back together. I won't hook the bulbs up and we'll see if the cluster powers up. Okay guys, so I got the chip soldered back on so we're just going to set it on here. We'll quick clip everything back together. We won't put the case or anything on and then we'll see if everything works. Okay guys, so let's see if we can uh, set this up here without dropping it and get this clipped in and see if our mileage comes up. Remember, I don't have the bulbs connected, so we might get some flickering or something funky. Okay, let's see. Is that in all the way? Okay, so let's see. Oh, look at that, guys. We got our mileage. 95786. Okay, so you see how our light's over here, off over here. So we'll get this all soldered up. And we'll get this all back together. This is awesome. Okay, guys, so we got this soldered. We got this one soldered for our lights. This one soldered, and then that one soldered. And then we got all our screws in. So now we can flip this back up and clip this in, and we'll get the case back together, and then we'll adjust our needles. Okay, guys, so I got the cluster put back together. Uh, I don't have the cover on. I want to check to make sure that uh, our needles are where they need to be, and I want to connect this connector back up. Let's see. Let's plug this back in. Let's do what the dealership can't do. There we go. So we know where our RPM should be zero right now. There we go. So that's zero. Uh, shut this off let's see this should come down to zero there we go this should be there we go so they're all zero now that's zero that's good and when we turn it on everything should come back up look at that 
So now I'm going to get the cover put on. I'll wipe it all down so that there's no dust all over and we should be good to go. So the dealership was wrong about the mileage that they were just guessing on these inspections. Okay, so we got the cluster in, guys. Look at this. Look at that. And we shut it off. Boom. So I'm going to get this all put back together. We should be good to go. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. I hope you guys like it. See you later.